Shortly after getting a tip that a man who checked in last night at the Trump Hotel had weapons, Washington, D.C. police and Secret Service agents had him in custody. I believe that the officers and, and, and our federal partners, and in particular the tipster coming forward, uh, averted a potential disaster here in our, in our nation's capital. But why the man came to the Trump Hotel just six blocks from the White House remains a mystery. Police say 43-year-old Brian Moles of Edinburgh, Pennsylvania, checked into the hotel around 1 a.m. and told the parking attendant he had guns in his car. Around the same time, Pennsylvania State Police relayed word from a friend that Moles was headed to Washington with guns and had talked about the man who blew up the Oklahoma City Federal Building in 1995. About 2 a.m., investigators say police knocked on his hotel room door, asked if he had guns, and he said yes in the car. A police report says he had a pistol, an assault rifle, and 90 rounds of ammunition. Law enforcement officials say he wanted to stay in the hotel to show his support for the president. A protective intelligence interview of Mr. Moles was conducted by agents of the Washington Field Office, which revealed that he posed no immediate threat to any Secret Service protectees. This is Brian Moles checking in at home. Officials say Moles has given conflicting information about why he came here, but they say there's no indication he intended to harm anyone. For now, he's accused of possessing unregistered firearms. He'll be formally charged in court tomorrow. Pete Williams, NBC News, Washington. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.